In this video, I want to talk a little bit about naming nucleotides and nucleosides. Sometimes it can get a little bit tricky, so I kind of want to go over it briefly. That way, in case I reference them at any point later on, that it makes sense. So, if we have nucleosides, right, which are is just a pentose sugar with some nitrogenous base. Well, these are the nitrogenous bases here. So if they're attached to a ribose, they would be nucleosides. And in the case of adenine being the base, if it was ribose plus adenine, it would be called adenosine. Okay. Now if it was ribose and the guanine, it would be guanosine. So the two purines, adenine and guanine, are named similarly. You basically just add an osine. Okay. In the case of uracil and cytosine, which are both pyrimidines, they become uridine, right? So it sounds like pyrimidine. Uh, and cytidine, right? This is a, a ribose with a uracil attached to it, and this is um, a ribose with a cytosine attached to it. They'd become uridine and cytidine, respectively. Now, what if you have thymine? Notice I've written it in yellow and I put a pink star next to it. So now, thymine attached to a deoxyribose would be thymidine. And thymine doesn't attach to ribose because thymine is only in DNA, right? So if you recall DNA having A's, T's, C's, and G's, and RNA having A's, U's, C's, and G's, thymine is only in DNA, so it can only be a deoxynucleoside. So it is called thymidine, okay? But more specifically or precisely, it's deoxythymidine. And that's, by, that's because it always had the deoxy. It's only in DNA. Right? So that's what I want to write here. Right? Thymine is only deoxy. So it's because it's only in DNA, not RNA. So for all of these other ones here, all of these other uh, nucleosides, these are ribonucleosides, um, they're adenosine, guanosine, uridine, and cytidine. They can also, if you want to make these deoxy, if the sugar is instead of ribose, it's deoxyribose, all you would have to do to these names is put a deoxy in front of them as a prefix. So this would be deoxyadenosine or deoxyguanosine, deoxyuridine, deoxycytidine. Now thymidine, um, is, thymidine and deoxythymidine are the same thing, which is why I feel like more comfortable just calling it deoxythymidine because this saying this thymidine is kind of confusing and maybe misleading. So keep that in mind. Now what if we have nucleotides? Well, if you recall, I mentioned in the previous video uh, that nucleotides are just nucleoside phosphates. So they're just a nucleoside with phosphate groups attached to them. And I said that you could add one, two, or three phosphates to the five prime carbon of the sugar. So in the case of nucleotides, you basically just give it the nucleoside name and then put a five prime and then a, the blank here, and then a phosphate. Now what can go in this blank? Well that depends on the number of phosphates. So if you had adenine attached to ribose, and you had one phosphate group at the 5 prime n, it would be adenosine, for the, named for the nucleoside, and then if it only had one phosphate at the 5 prime n, it would be called monophosphate. If it had two, it would be diphosphate. So adenosine 5 prime diphosphate, or adenosine 5 prime triphosphate if there are three phosphates. So it's the same thing for these other ones here. You just give it the, nucleo the nucleoside name, and then 5 prime, and then however many phosphates there are. Right, so with thymidine, you don't give it that name, right? You would only give it the deoxy name. So it would be deoxythymidine, 5 prime, and then however many phosphates. Again, because you would not find this in RNA, it's, an, it's not a ribonucleotide, it's a deoxyribonucleotide only. Okay, so now that we've gone over these names, let's kind of put this in, into perspective by talking about a few examples. So if you were asked to draw uh, DAMP, which is deoxyadenosine monophosphate, right? Or more specifically, deoxyadenosine 5' prime monophosphate. So the deoxy... The deoxy means that you're going to have your, your sugar is going to be deoxyribose. And we know that because of this here, right? This 2' prime carbon 
on the ribose sugar has no OH group, has just the H group. So that's the deoxy. Now at the one prime carbon we have the base, and in this case it's adenine because it's called adenosine. So this adenine is attached here at this nitrogen. And then at the five prime carbon right up here, we have we should have one phosphate group. So I've drawn one phosphate group. So this was deoxy adenosine five prime monophosphate. Now what if you're asked to draw UTP, which is uridine five prime triphosphate? Well, so there's no deoxy, so we would expect the ribose, right? So that's why we have this OH here instead of an H at the two prime carbon. And then of course it's uridine, so we, the the nitrogen is base attached to the one prime carbon should be uracil, and that's what we have here. And at the five prime end we should have three phosphate groups. So there's one, two, three phosphate groups. So that's UTP. Now what about guanosine? Well guanosine is just a nucleoside, right? So up up here these were both nucleotides. This one's just this is a ribonucleotide up here, and this is a deoxyribonucleotide. So now here we just have a nucleoside, so there's no phosphate groups. So in guanosine, this is not deoxy, so here we have an OH instead of an, just an H. And uh, at the one prime carbon of the ribose, we should have a guanine nitrogenous base, and that's what we have here. Okay, so we again attach at the correct nitrogen. In the case of um, deoxycytidine, well, deoxy, right, so we have the H there at the two prime carbon. Deoxycytidine, there's no phosphates, right, this is a nucleo, uh, excuse me, a ribonucleoside. And um, CH2OH over here, right, because there's no phosphate groups. And then cytidine means that the, the nitrogenous base was cytosine, which is what we have here. All right. That's pretty much it. I hope that was helpful in a, in a sort of uh, overview kind of way. Um, that's a bit. That's it. I hope you found that helpful. One last thing. I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email and check out the description for more details. Thanks for watching.